Our Jill of all trades is here, gonna blow us away again with her latest creation. She is using scrap copper to showcase the outside of the house. Okay, my friend Jim had this great idea to do a copper roof, uh, just to accent a little gable on his back barn, and he taught me how to do it, and I think it's such a cool idea that I had to share it with you guys. He actually made his own copper shingles out of roofing copper that he got as scrap. So he got it for a fraction of the cost and it's going to look amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the shingles. You actually can find all the information on a website called basiccopper.com. I'll have a link to it uh, in the article that accompanies the story online or you can just write to me and I'll share the information with you. But what we're gonna do is take just the flat pieces of copper, cut them out into a shingle and the shingles are interlocking. So some of the edges are bent over, some of the edges are bent under, but when they go on the roof, they're gonna go like that. And it looks really, really cool. So our main piece is just the main shingle right here. And I'm gonna just show you, I'm just gonna trace that onto a piece of the scrap copper. Now what you wanna use for this is uh, roofing copper and that is known as 22 mil or 16 ounce. It's the same thing, but that's the thickness of copper that you need for a project like this. So after I have this all traced around, I wanna make sure my lines are good. And then I'm just gonna take tin snips and cut it out. I will say you gotta watch, the edges can be a little sharp, um, you may want to use a pair of gloves, a nice pair of leather gloves would serve you nicely here. Uh, but if you're careful, you can work around it. There is my shingle. Now we're going to take this tool. This is an 18 inch folding tool. It has one edge that'll fold uh, 3 8 inch and the other edge will fold one inch. We're going to use the 3 8 inch. I'm going to put my shingle in there and actually I'm going to do it right there. Watch how easy this is. That puts the bend that we need in the shingle. And then we're gonna go to the other side, same thing. And so that's why it doesn't matter if our cut is exact, super exact, because the fold is still gonna be good. It'll give us a nice clean edge. Boom, there. Now we do the other, uh, the bottom edges, the two bottom edges going the other direction. Actually, I'll just fold it over. So, I've got my two edges at the bottom, and if I had to, I could press that down a little. And my two edges at the top, that's gonna be the front of the shingle right there, and the next one will hook on to that. Last thing to do is, when we attach it to the roof, we're gonna do it right through here. You could take your copper nail and punch that through, but then you risk bending it or putting some funny crimps in it. So I'm just gonna pre-drill uh, right in the middle so that I don't have to worry about that once I get it up on the roof. But there you have it. That's how easy it is to make a shingle. We need a whole bunch of them. And you're also going to need a hip piece like that. I have a pattern for that. It folds the same way underneath. We have um, a flashing edge one. This will go up against the side of the house. So it's basically a half shingle. And then we have uh, another half shingle. That's our starter that we start on the bottom edge of the roof and work our way up. So we've got pieces made. I'm gonna take you over to my friend Jim's house and I'm gonna show you how to put them on the roof. And it looks really, really cool. So join us next time for that. But in the meantime, we're making copper shingles. There you have it on Jill of all trades. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Man, I'm telling you, one week after the other, she just mm -hmm. blows my mind. That is so talented. I love that. I don't even know where you would come up with it to, to make a <laughs> copper shingle, let alone put it into action. Yeah. I hear somebody saving money right there. I love Jill for that. Yes. Good job.